Internet computer, one chain to rule them all, or is it? When it comes to internet computer, we're talking about a blockchain which allows you to host both data and compute on chain, whereas a lot of the cryptocurrency industry can't and seemingly never really wanted to because that's hard. And to be honest with you, on some level, I can't really blame them because if you can put a quarter of the work or half the work in and make yourself filthy rich, sounds like a pretty good plan, doesn't it? What we have here is Kyle Langham reminding us that ICP isn't meant to replace all chains. ICP is meant to amplify all chains. Kyle Langham is a member of the Definity Foundation, and if you look at the Definity Foundation website and scroll down to their team members that they feature on their website, you'll find Kyle roughly right in the middle. Kyle is the Director of Data and Analytics, and his history consists primarily of working in pharma, including two years working on a COVID vaccine. He has both bachelor and master's degrees. Kyle Langham is here to remind us that ICP is here to amplify all chains, not to replace all chains. I've also seen Dominic Williams make this statement more than once. However, the messaging seems to be a little bit mixed. Here on X, we see a couple of tweets from Dominic Williams. 100% on chain, open chat group video discussing chain fusion multi-chain. Amazing. OpenChat launched on ICP and became the first open internet service. It remains the only chat service actually running on blockchain. The rest, 100% snake oil. While you could argue that he's talking about chat services, I've seen him make similar comments in a number of other places. It's just you have to keep in mind that sometimes he's posted in a video that's hosted in the Definity YouTube channel and other places. So it's not always is quite so simple to just go straight to Dominic's account and find all of the things that he's ever said publicly. But you'll see down here below that he once again says that it's a very pertinent article for the Web3 industry's new cycle. So many projects justifying the snake oil as fake it until you make it. So many selling fake AI capabilities and relevancies. BS on BS on BS. We must help real tech triumph over oil once more. And of course, there is a picture of Sam Bankman Friedman in an article over at Forbes. And again, you could argue that while well, he's talking about SPF, who's going to argue that he's snake oil? The comment that Dominic Williams is making never once mentions FTX or SPF. And specifically, so many selling fake AI capabilities and relevancies, BS on BS on BS. I don't think that that is specifically targeting SPF and FTX only. I'm pretty sure that's a shot across the bow for the entire crypto industry. And again, if you were to look across the internet, if you're really following Dominic Williams and Definity and Pumpkin Seed, you will see Dominic speaking in many places and he does say things such as internet computer is here to fix crypto or amplify crypto blockchains. And he also says that most of crypto is snake oil. As I have said before, when it comes to internet computer, on some level, I, I don't really care. I don't really care if the horse that takes us to the promised land is going to be internet computer helping other blockchains by serving as DPIN or in some other capacity somehow, or if it's going to have nothing to do with other blockchains because internet computer can do that and it can host AI on chain and DPIN and RWA. You can host games on internet computer. You can host pretty much anything that can be hosted on blockchain can actually be hosted on internet computer whereas other cryptocurrencies, for the most part, you can't host anything on chain because they aren't built to handle compute or storage on chain. And they're really just looking to handle ledgers and transactions for the cryptocurrency. And that's it. I will say, though, that I'm not real fond of people launching so-called Web3 projects when Web3 is supposed to be about decentralization and getting away from big tech like Google and Amazon. And yet, 
you look at projects and in some cases they couldn't be prouder to to work with or partner with companies like Google, IBM, Dell. Google in particular is exactly the big tech type of company that Web3 is supposed to be directly opposing. I find myself a little conflicted. You know, when I find somebody that's like, we're Web3, and by the way, Google's working with us, that seems a little bizarre. In fact, there are even people in the internet computer community actively reaching out to companies like Google, telling them about internet computer before internet computer has really had a chance to really gain steam. And if that weren't enough, they're also reaching out to people at Microsoft. I'm actually on the fence when it comes to Alex reaching out to players like Microsoft and Google. I think that one of three things could happen. Either it could be really good for an internet computer. Maybe they'll adopt internet computer as a utopia. Maybe they'll even use the public blockchain, although I would be a little surprised to see that happen. They could decide that, oops, this almost flew under the radar. Well, it's a good thing Alex let us know, we'll just have to put our billions upon billions of dollars that we have towards making sure that we have something that people will want to use instead of internet computer, or at least convince people that they will want to use it instead of internet computer. Or I suppose a third thing could happen, which is that they just don't care and they don't do anything one way or the other. As I said before, it doesn't really matter to me what horse takes us to the promised land, meaning what ends up driving the price of internet computer to a much higher valuation, what brings us closer to being deflationary, if not in fact deflationary, or even highly deflationary, as I'm sure that would be positive for a higher valuation. However, what I'm not super fond of is Definity kind of sending mixed messages. You know, on the one hand, they talk about how they're the only true Web3 blockchain because because they're the only blockchain, or at least one of the very few, if not the only blockchain, where you can actually host data and compute on chain. But then from time to time, they'll also remind you that, oh, by the way, we're here to help the cryptocurrency industry. We're here to fix the cryptocurrency industry. We're here to amplify other blockchains. Well, which is it? You think everybody is snake oil because they're not real Web3 and they're not? Or you're here to save the day and help fix Ethereum and help make Cardano even better. Fix Solana. That I'm not super fond of. I would prefer that Definity is unified in their messaging and most importantly, consistent. And the fact that I feel like they're not consistent makes me in turn wonder if they have a clear path forward or not. Because after all, they are trying to be pretty much all things to all people in the cryptocurrency industry. At least that's my impression. That all said, never forget, I am a member of the ICP community. I am an investor. You can see here in my NNS that I currently have about 113.25 liquid ICP. And if you look at my staking neuron, you will see that I currently have 2,500 ICP stake with 120.44 maturity currently available. And as I have shown several times previously, I've been keeping track day to day as to what's going on with my neuron in terms of staking. Primarily, I wanted to be sure that I was in fact getting the rewards as I should. And the more data I collect, the more interesting that it is over time on some level, just to see you know what's going on, what days I actually received maturity and what days that I don't, what days I get two, three times as much, you know, due to voting activity and so forth. You know, one of the things with internet computer or more specifically the internet computer community, which I am a part of, is that we seem to be extremely sensitive to any kind of criticism. And I can understand why to some extent, right? Like somebody says, oh, the chart sucks. Oh, Sam Bankman fried he didn't do anything. You guys just suck. Oh, it's a VC rug. It's a Definity rug. It's a dominant rug. You know, the project's going to zero. And here we're thinking, okay, well, ICP is an actual real Web3 project. And probably nothing that you're holding in your portfolio is because 
pretty much everything else is a fraud. But sure, yeah, ICP, it's it's crap. And that's kind of just the knee jerk reaction that most of the community seems to have. And I think that that's not particularly healthy, especially since internet computer isn't perfect. Nothing is perfect. And we have to be able to recognize things that need improvement. And I think one of those things is making up our minds. Maybe not. And by that, I'm not actually talking about you and I I'm talking about Definity. Like, which is it? You're here to amplify all chains or you're the only Web3 project. It can be both. You're the only Web3 project and therefore you're here to save the day. But you can't also go around saying that everything is snake oil. If you, in fact, want to work with these people and rescue the crypto industry, that's not really a great segue into a partnership. Well, that's just my two cents. What do you think?